Thinking of buying the Henna Salinity Checker? Watch this video first. Let's get into it. So welcome back to another episode of Tell The Truth Thursday where I review a product that I use and I tell you what I think about it. Firstly, as always, I'm not sponsored by anyone so these reviews are really how I feel and information that I wish I could find online but struggled to find. So today, I'm sharing 4 things that I wish I knew before buying the Salinity Checker by Henna. Firstly, the tester needs constant recalibration. There was a time where my corals were not doing too well, they were not too happy and they were not as open. I mean they were open but not as large as they normally would be. So I was trying to figure out what was going on and all my parameters were within range. I later discovered that my salinity tester, my henna salinity tester, had been giving me an inaccurate reading. It read 35 ppt but in actual fact it was 37 ppt which is about a 2 ppt difference. A ppm is about a 0.002 difference, which is quite significant, especially when you're trying to keep a reef tank. I was quite frustrated because I had recalibrated the tester within a month and it was still off by 2 ppt. So now, what I do is that every 3 weeks I do a check on the salinity and recalibrate if necessary. I use the Henna Calibration Solution, which you see right here, which adds to my monthly maintenance cost. So do note that if you want this tester, you have to calibrate it quite frequently. Number 2. In order to know how accurate the henna salinity tester is, I took another henna salinity tester and calibrated both of them and placed them side by side inside the same tank. I realized the PPT was off by around 0.03 and that was a minute right after calibration. So in the grand scheme of things, 0.03 ppt is not a huge deal breaker but if you are looking for the utmost accuracy in your tester, this tester might not be for you. The third thing I wish I knew was that the temperature checker is actually useful. Before buying the tester, I didn't really want to use the temperature checker, I just thought it was something on the side. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are not thinking too much about having a thermometer together with your salinity checker. However, I found out after using it for a couple of months that the temperature checker was uh, good to have. So in my tank, I check my salinity almost every day and having the temperature check without me doing anything extra gives me a good peace of mind every time I test my salinity. I mean, who doesn't like more information, right? Just like any other salinity tester, it is important to maintain the probes after use and that means that after you use the salinity tester, you will need to wash the probes. So in the manual, it states that after use, you need to rinse the probe with water. For me, I don't like to use tap water to rinse the probes. Even though I believe you can based on the recommendation, I prefer to rinse it in some RODI water which is what I usually do. So when I'm making RODI water, I'll make an extra container of water to use to rinse my uh, salinity checker. So it is important to note because it's not just a use and keep but it is a use and maintain then keep. I know I said there are 4 things to know but here's a bonus tip if you do buy the tester. So opening the box I had a shock because as I opened it there was a black residue near the probe and I panicked because I thought something leaked or there was something wrong with my tester but a quick google search brought me to a forum reply by Hena stating that the black residue is nothing to be worried about it happens when they polish the graphite electrodes before shipping it will eventually come off but it will not affect the reading you can wipe it off with the cloth or cardboard so if you do purchase the tester do take note that there's not something to be concerned about so in conclusion I do like the convenience and the quickness of testing my water with this checker and so far it hasn't been causing me much issues even though the accuracy could be much closer to the actual situation. So with that I think I will wrap up my video right here. Thank you for watching and do consider subscribing to this channel to follow my journey. Stay safe, love your tank, till next time, see ya!